All right, right. All we're right. doing Nick Ricada, guys. Remember, we were covering Ricada <laughs> seething at Kiwi Farms. He was seething at Josh, seething about his thread, about Drexel and all that. But, you know, we have somebody else who's joined the battle against Ricada. It's no longer just Josh Moon oh, yes. and us and everybody else in the sector dabbing on Ricada. Mm -hmm. One of the lawyers who comes on Ricada's show frequently. Oh. Potentially criminal. Hang on, let me just do one thing real fast. Uh, who's the girl? And sorry, I forgot her name. I'm subscribed to her now. The one that. Uh, Alyssa Clips. Alyssa Clips. Because she had, had the second one. It's not there. I don't know why the fuck it didn't show up. All right. First of all, look what. Alyssa Clips clipping uh, fucking uh, Nick Ricada. Yeah. You promoted Alyssa Clips. Look at this. Posted a clip saying PPP said it, so it must be true. And we click it. Watch this. Alyssa. Alyssa Clips. That's where I'm getting a lot of this Ricada material from. Excellent resource is Alyssa Clips Alyssa on Clips. the RQ, the Ricada question. The RQ. What will we do with him? We're not being featured on these clip channels. Very fun stuff, guys. Uh, you know? So, one of... So, okay, if you all don't remember, well, you all do, but I'll, I'll just refresh your memory. During the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, case, Nick Ricada would usually have a ton of lawyers on, right? Yeah. Like, all these lawyers and da da da, da. And I said on the last show about the fucking Ricada question, I was just like, listen, these lawyers stop going on to the show. Da, da, da. It's even beyond that. Now the lawyers who used to go on Ricada and collaborate with him are dabbing on him. Watch this. They're laughing at it. Alyssa Clips right here. Our girl. Kina Shea says we are Alyssa respecters because I am not clipping Ricada's nine hour streams. Nor am I. Alyssa. Nor I'm, is any. Only Alyssa is able to clip Ricada's bullshit. I consider her a friend of the show. Yeah. Watch this. Could the All right, so on the bottom there. This so, guy looks fucking ridiculous. What was his name again? <laughs> Fuck, I had it written down. Hang on. No, it's in the it's clip title. It's potentially criminal. Potentially criminal. All right, here we go. Here we go. Runic carvings on sticks be runes on baldos. All right, so could the runic carvings on sticks be runes on baldos? Obviously a reference to Ricada. Could the runic carvings on sticks be runes so on baldos? Remember, Ricada had it on his show. They were pals, part of the lawyer YouTube network. Look how he responds here. Baldos. <laughs> so it's a strong start, says Reptile. <laughs> yeah, it's the lawyer PPP premium gaming skin. This will be my lawyer <laughs> costume. Yes, I'm sure you could find a bunch of baldos car like I mean they're rubber you could carve into them or you could find a bunch of <laughs> discarded liquor bottles that have runes carved into them. Whoa. Felt it. Is this guy watching our show? Probably not. Meaning this is a big joke in the lawyer YouTube community. He's a big fucking joke now, retard. You know, he's just a joke. He's the baldo guy. He's the baldo fucking alcoholic. Look at this. I had a bunch of baldos. Car like, I mean, they're rubber. You could carve into them. Or you could find a bunch of <laughs> discarded liquor bottles that have runes carved into them. And like, his laugh is like... The joy. He's so happy to dunk on Ricada. He's so happy he doesn't have to pretend to be friends with him. Yeah. I mean, thankfully those girls weren't found with whiskey bottles up their asses, because then cops would be going to knock on Nick's door. Named. <laughs> Hopefully. He really is like an Adam Sandler movie character. He really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still too young for Drax. Whoa. Oh. So this is a big contention now in the law YouTube law community. The law community. Very the funny. Law tuber community. Very funny. Alyssa Clips, fucking Kino. So thankfully we know they're not involved. Dink Dragon says, I hope Alyssa just clipped that. Oh, don't worry. It'll get clipped. I'm sure it will. Don't worry. Alyssa It'll clips. get clipped. Alyssa Clips. Don't. 
let's go felted, etc. Let's right, go Ariel. felted, etc. It's like heat. It's like heat when uh, Wayne Gross sitting there. It's like, don't you worry. He ain't going to forget about you. Oh, what a reference there. All right. Now we have one more clip from this guy, potentially criminal. Very funny stuff. Very short. So <laughs> check this out, folks. This is funny. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, God. Presented without comment. It says there's one train you can't derail. It's the bulls at Nick's house. That's so good. <laughs> this guy is a Christmas. He's so happy. I want to get him on the show. Can someone DM him? I'll DM him. Oh, my God. I'm gonna fucking cry. It's gonna cry. Meaning they've all been chatting behind the scenes, and finally now it's okay. It's like making yeah. fun of him now. Now we have the green light to the shit green on light. Arcadia. Yeah. yeah. He watches the show. This guy watches the show. No way. For real. Crazy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We should start hosting law tube panels. We will. Yeah. We actually will. We'll do all. Uh, We're going to be the law tubers the next big trial. What was it called? You, you had a, a name for it if we did like uh, cases. It was something with Kino. And I forgot. But there was, I remember Kino you, court. You, you, you thought of something. The Kino court. Do we start the Kino court? Kino and just, court. And we just steal Rakeda's grift. Oh, that was good. The keto courtroom. I'll do it. Would you donate for it, guys? So I don't know how much of this we're going to go through because it starts to get pretty repetitive. But we have Rakeda spurging out at Eric July and acting like a big time fucking retard here. So we were going to do this on the last show covering Rakeda, and it was kind of a leftover because we went on him way too fucking long. And it's honestly, it's hard to do these Rakeda segments because one, he's such a boring fuck. Two, he's just such a slimy, sniveling fuck as well that it's like hard to actually, I mean, I'm revolted by him. Like it's a visceral reaction of disgust. Uh, more so almost than any other person we cover. More so like, more so even than pedophiles. Rakeda disgusts me. It's kind of wild. Yikes. Uh, so said the people's Kino court. I don't know. All right, here we go. I don't know how to say this. Everybody's like accusing me. They always do this. They're always like, I will try and stay out of drama for months and months and months and months and months. People will beat the fucking shit out of me to, to do the thing, to enter the fray. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. And then eventually you break someone. Like Eric did, we'll I mean, go just, and they'll be like, "Hey, the blah 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 blah," and they'll say hair. a thing. Isn't it just angry? Always, it's so fucking you. annoying, and he's like, he's ooh, like using it as a prop. It's so gay. How how cringe would it be if I was like this the whole time? Rudolph the red nose Alki had a very shiny nose. You know, you can have one or two drinks on the show, and but when he, he drank like the whiskey on the last show, his little cow nature would be exposed. One hour, nine. Holy shit. Thing that is intended to damage my channel. Make no What the fuck did Eric do to damage your channel that you haven't done yourself? Shut the fuck up. Eric July. What, what, uh, but, uh, how is Eric July going to damage your channel? Just shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. Fuck up. Like, the thing is, Rikada didn't need to insert himself at in all. the whole Eric July thing. He could have just not said fucking anything. Or when asked about it, I mean, that's none of my fucking business. The reason he got involved in it was because of Dick Masterson. Because he views Dick Masterson as his own personal Jesus Christ, the father figure, the guiding light of his life. He believes that everything Dick Masterson says is gospel. Yeah. And like the full on truth and that you have to worship it. So when Dick started going after Eric July, Rakeda had no choice but to join in to fucking be with his E-daddy. 
So it's your own fault you got involved in this shit. And any of your own fans who think you're a fucking piece of shit for going after Eric July to please Dick Masterson's penis, it's not Eric July's fault. It's your fucking fault because you had to lick Diddler Dax's fucking Mexican cock. No mistake. Like, look, I like Eric. I li people. D yeah, by the way, this whole Rama thing Rama. is like, I like this guy. I like Eric. I love Josh. I love them. I want them to win. I like, like him. I like him. Ramarama said this is, this is so true. Nick is blaming Eric, right? For what Eric's fans have said. Yeah. But remember, Nick inserted himself by replying to one of Dick's tweets that was encouraging uh, Riley to go to piss to on business. the grave. Or for, first with the business and then to show up at the grave of his ancestors. Yeah. And then Nick's like, why is Eric coming after me? No, I wonder. But Eric's responsible for what his fans do, but Rakeda and Dick aren't responsible for what their fans do. It's rules for thee, but not for me. And it's a real shame when I get consequences. But when you get trolled, it's just a consequence of your actions because you're feeding the trolls. It's fucking retarded. It's absolutely fucking bullshit. I don't believe this. I legit want Ripperverse to make unlimited money. I don't care if it's good, bad. I don't care anything about it. I don't want the trademark to win. I want him to win the trademark. I want him to make billions of dollars because I want the parallel economy to work. What? And I don't think the quality matters. I disagree with Dick on this. I don't give a shit about the quality of the book. I don't care if it's bad or good. I want the idea to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you want That's so the parallel of the, of the business to work, which would mean... Not the the you know comic book industry, yeah. but like the you know self published, right? If it sucks, if it sucks, then go fuck yourself. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't just need something that's like, gonna pander to my politics if it's Ooh, fucking garbage. Yeah, if it's shit. It makes it's like, not even gonna spread the politics if it fucking sucks. It's just a way for people in an echo chamber to jerk themselves yeah. off. I I I hope. The fucking shitty comic pass. But this whole like parallel economy thing, it's not a parallel economy. No. It's within the normal economy of the country. This isn't a parallel society. Yeah. Like this is the new buzzword people use, parallel society, parallel economy. Are you still paying taxes? Are you still fucking buying services using US dollars? Yeah. Oh, you are. So you're a part of the economy. By the way, it's not like the comics, like a white nationalist or like a no. anti Biden. No, it's literally a self contained superhero story that has nothing to even do with politics. Now, by the way, you're always complaining about woke shit. Woke, woke, woke. Every main character in it, in it is young, whatever it's called, is black. It's the same fucking shit as the parallel company. Just no, I understand it's a non mainstream it. comic and it's non woke stuff. But I don't think it's Is a it not parallel woke? economy. I, I don't think it's supposed to be woke. Whatever. Sell. I want creators who don't hate their fans sell, okay? I'll say that all over, and then I'll say, but I again, don't want to talk about... Again, if it, was, if it was a comic book that was, like, battling what woke comics are, I'd be like, okay, I see what you're saying, but it's not. I've read it. It's not... <laughs> anything else because i really just don't fucking want to be involved they'll they'll demand my involvement well no you're forcing yourself it. you keep talking about it this has been going on for weeks they, they force my involvement nobody can force you to do anything you're the one who's doing it it's crazy fuck but it will take months to get me in because i just don't care remember the legal bite shit how long that fucking took? I didn't want to be dragged into that either. Leave me alone. People do it. They're like, he loves drama. Yeah, I unprivated the Eric stream. I didn't announce it because it wasn't about the fucking drama. It was never about the drama. I don't want to talk about the drama. He's a spiral. But once you bring me in, once you do the thing, once you demand my fucking approval or whatever, one, I probably am not going to give it to you. And two, I'm going to talk about the drama. So now you brought me in consistently over and over. I'm pretty sure my name was mentioned today. Well. Today. That's the fucking crazy thing. Today. Before all of this, pretty sure I was brought up. Why? 
because they talked about the legal issue of the trademark. No drama, no nothing, legal issue. Right. <laughs> Brought up. He, he didn't know what he was doing Brought up at in all. Brought live yeah. stream. Yeah. And no, I, I wasn't trying to insert myself into the drama. I was just doing a legal thing. Really? I didn't do nothing. I'm innocent. But now I am going to get into the drama for 38 straight minutes here. Yeah. That's, yeah. Again, right. leave me the fuck alone. But if you don't leave me alone, I will do what you ask eventually. What you ask is for me to comment. I'll eventually do it. Of course, I'm a drama whore. So I mean, what, if you are a drama whore and YouTuber, then why are you pretending like you're above it all? Yeah. What what was up with this attitude where it's like, well, I was just doing my job. I was, I was just doing legal analysis. I didn't want to get into the drama. And I never did drama. I was dragged into this. And then you admit you're a drama whore like two seconds later. Yeah. Like, just lay off the bottle, man. Like, lay off the bottle. But it's not profitable. It's not fun. Drama's not profitable? It's the most profitable the fucking, fucking stick? thing. Here's the Where's stick. Where's the fucking stick? Are you fucking kidding me? Retard alert! How? Not profitable. No. Fuck off. I do... I do have a channel to grow and protect. Like, that is real. Hashtag Israel. And you are Palestine. You keep fucking coming here. Demanding I give you all my what's land or babies or whatever. Well, what's up with Rikada self-inserting as Israel? And viewing them as the good guys here? Yeah. Is there something to his nose? Gabe, can we get an ancestry check on this man? Is he a part of the tribe? Do we have to stop attacking him or what? Yeah, let us know. I'm eventually gonna fuck you. I don't leave Holy me alone. Leave me alone. What are you gonna do to Eric July? What, like Eric July made like what five million? Tons of viewers, tons of support. He's doing his thing. What is Ricada holding a whiskey glass gonna do? Well, Ricada's losing viewers and money over this. Because yeah. he has crossover with Eric July. Yeah. He should just shut the fuck up, but he can't because he has to pander to Diddler Dax and the pedo crew. I know all the shit you yeah, say. Yeah, quarter million dollar man. His nose does look like it's bolted on. Like, look at the bridge of his nose. It's like, fuck, it's, oh. Shit you do. I know all your fucking purity tests. I know all your fucking gay garbage. I don't want to do it. I don't even sell a goddamn comic book. Leave me alone. Okay, Why is do, he spiraling know, this hard? He's just fucking screaming. Do we know what Eric July said? It's tough. It's I tough to even know. see. You yeah. can't even follow this shit. Like, it'd be great if Nick, you know, Nick assumed that 75% of his audience like has no idea. Yeah. It's like when we set up like, like a drama. We, we, present... we try and give some context for people who might be newer, newer or don't like, understand. Or who haven't been following. Because, I mean, that's why people tune into this stuff is because they're not following it on their own. Yeah, exactly. They're not, like, following fucking 100 different Twitter accounts to, to learn the shit. I know all of it. I know it before you tell me it. And then when you tell me it. Okay. Remember, I never said anything bad about you for months while I knew about the bad shit. What bad shit? What bad shit? What did he do? What did Eric July do? He made a comic book that wasn't the best. Who gives a fuck? In their opinion. Yeah. In their opinion. You insisted. Did you forget? Did you forget the bad shit existed? Did you forget me being not neutral enough existed months before I talked about it? Months before you open your mouth about it, did what? you forget that? Probably forgot that, I guess. What? Not neutral. You can't bully me into your side. You can't bully me into your opinion. You know why? You know why? Because you are a YouTuber 
I don't care how big your audience is. I don't care what fucking gay street they all came from. I don't care about how much they talk. Ventilators! I don't care about whatever stupid airing out internet tough guy bullshit they talk about, about like killing people or whatever, because you're all dumb internet tough guy faggots. And by the way, that audience is like the most social justice war. They must be racist. They just hate the blacks. They don't hate the blacks. Nobody hates the fucking blacks, you weirdo. They just hate this the black man society. Nobody hates them. You guys are literally Marvel. You have made yourself Marvel. Good job, you fucking retards, for being goddamn Marvel of Comicsgate. Can you imagine? Pause. Can you Wait, is he going to cry? Wait. <laughs> Wait, did he? <laughs> that was so funny for a second, I just... It looked like he's holding two glasses of whiskey. Watch, yeah. watch that one go down. Marvel, you have made yourself Marvel. Good job, you fucking retards for being. <laughs> Why is he transitioning it? <laughs> for one hand, it's like a magic trick. It's like misdirection or something. Here, for, for a second, I'm like, is he holding two glasses of whiskey? He's dual wielding the fucking glasses. <laughs> This is crazy, man. He's just screaming about Eric July, and I don't even know why he's mad. Yeah. Is anybody able to ascertain why he's mad? James, they're are the you there? SJWs of comic books. Like, Look, but, aren't there already SJWs of comic books? Hey, James, are you there? Goddamn Marvel of Comicsgate! Can you imagine? Can you imagine? How long did it take? Did anybody have an over and under on faggotry for the timeline from Comics Gate's creation to Comics Gate's own Marvel existing? And it's literally the Ripaverse retards out there like, they just hate the black man's success. They've been saying this shit for years, years and years and years. No one said anything because it was always turned outward. Well, now you fucking turned it inward. You're like, they're just racist. They just racist. They just racist. You should hollow them out. Air them out. Shoot those motherfuckers assault them kill them attack the wives attack the kids they're attacking evs's autistic daughter like what? fucking monsters okay Wait, motherfuckers, true? motherfuckers are like going, going to his ancestors grave yeah. and going to his business and shit like this Not EVS. i i don't know like how far do you guys want to escalate it like I don't know, I guess the logical conclusion is violence because of some fucking black guy's comic book and some fucking Mexican pedophile's anger that he's not making money, that Vito the pedophile's comic book isn't making as much money as black man's comic book. So now we need to go to graves, make fun of autistic children, gangland shootings and shit. You know what we need? We need a British YouTuber to make a fucking... Summary video about this. We need like a flow chart that explains exactly <laughs> what, like how we got here and like why this is happening. Because nobody understands this. Like, no, like, you'd have to fucking be paying attention to this every second of every fucking day. Like, this is the level of like autism we were on with Ralph, like, it, like, fuck last year. Yeah, yeah. The goddamn animals they're supposed to hate, they have become an embodied. We're all supposed to just sit here. We're all just supposed to take it. Why? Why? Because the black man did Because Eric did it. Because it made so much money. We all tried to ignore it because we just didn't want to fucking deal with it because you guys are literal fucking retards. You're the dumbest people on the goddamn planet. We're all sad that you watch our show, but we don't want to fucking anger you because you're irritating to deal with. Why are you so mad? Is it just that nobody is watching? Because that's what somebody said in chat earlier. Yeah, earlier yeah. It smells like no there's watching. nobody watching and nobody cares. So he needs to start like spurging and spiraling so people will pay attention to fucking laugh at him. Yeah. I don't know. I Or maybe I, I don't know. They, they know what it feels like. It also feels like uh it's like with, with with the Josh Moon thing. He can't take any criticism. He can't yeah. take anyone being against his point of view. He's always the right guy, right? Well, and Theodore he was the golden the child before, yeah, right? Yeah, Theodore feeds the ball goes, but going to Eric's business and promoting lawsuits against him isn't irritating? Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like that's a bit more irritating than his fans coming over to your chat and saying that you only don't like him because he's black. I don't know. Yeah. You're fucking irritating because you're like, you hate the black man. Don't hate black people.
I think they're hilarious. Right. That's, Look that's at a, this. That's a good, the nose nose. I don't hate black people. They're funny. I think they're <laughs> hilarious. Well, you know, that's one way to put it. <laughs> I'm shucking a job for you, master. You're making you fucking laugh and shit. Tap dance for me, uh, man. Tap dance for me there. Oh, there you go, Docky. <laughs> Why don't you just tap dance for me? Why don't you do some more black crime videos for me to laugh at? <laughs> Oh, look, here are the blacks at Walmart again. Oh, ah, she. You hate success. I literally love capitalism. Don't like any of this shit <laughs> that goes against it. Suffer schnoz. Now you got that one wrong. <laughs> what is it? Suffer schnoz. Young <laughs> champ, you kind of sound like every. Brie Larson apologist ever is just what? oh yeah they're Brie oh, Larson God. now the worst thing ever is to be a Brie Larson apologist but I, 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 there's apologists for Brie Larson apparently like it's the gospel and they're like apologizing for it like what the fuck are you talking about I don't know, man. Apo the apologetics of Brie Larson you and I like miss gonna get this out era. on the street defending Brie Larson and Captain Marvel. Holy you and I like fuck. missed this era because we were so busy making fun of Ralph. Now Brie Larson's black with hairy shoulders, so you just fucking love it. I guess. We didn't care. We don't even dislike him. We don't dislike Eric. We want you're good with people going to his business and going to his ancestors' graves to piss on it. I, I don't hate him. I'm just saying if you pissed on his grave to succeed. We hate you. We hate you. The Wait. people who are like, he showed up at Gravestone? You got to handle that. You got Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I take care of that. Get in the streets. I'm from the street. We would ventilate a motherfucker. You, you, put, you put holes in a man with a gun because he took a selfie at a Gravestone from someone who died 100 years ago? Well, listen, you man. Like, you start fucking with people's families and their ancestors and their honor like that. Like... Don't be surprised yeah. when sh bad shit happens, especially when they happen to be black. Yeah. Like. <laughs> especially. Yeah. I was going to tell you. Chris, like, call us. You have to do something so much. Like, if you go to somebody's fucking, like, grandfather's grave and piss on it, like. And then some people online are like, you get I'm going to kick your ass. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Can you believe it? Someone threatened. Uh, someone online threatened. After you pissed on their gravestone? Yeah. It's very, very shocking. Fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to shoot someone? They're black he... and Texan. Like, wake up. Some fool retarded out there and shit. Wake up. Piss on the grave? Did he shit on it? Did he deface it? Did he chip it? Did he take the gravestone? Did he hurt the body? No. He literally. How do you know? Took a picture like everybody does at a fucking gravestone ever. He took what? a fucking nobody, there's, nobody it, goes to random gravestone of some enemy of yours. It doesn't fucking and matter. take a selfie next to the grave. It's the, disrespectful, the, it, it was, you yeah, fucking it dumbass. Intended to be disrespectful. You know he? Oh, he went there to bring roses. Nobody does that. Shut yeah, Devin is up. dead. Nobody does. No that. one does that. Google pictures of the fucking gravestone. Oh, but. Blah, 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 blah. You gonna ventilate them too? Is that desecration? You fucking retards! Have fun, fucking Eric, in trademark court, you dumb motherfuckers. Oh, but I don't want him to lose. I want it to be no, parallel businesses. I want him businesses. to have all the money in the world. Good luck in trademark court, fuckers! Ha <laughs> ha okay. uh, What would you know anything about trademark court? Fuck out of here! You dumb assholes who are out there. I'm a Christian, and ISOM is fake Christians. And I hate those greedy Jews disguised Yikes. as Christians. Someone clip that. Send it to uh, send it to uh, to, to Gabe. Gabe. Gabe With watch. no context. With no context. Going after black guy. That helps. Thanks. Good job. You're helping Eric a lot right now by being so goddamn negative 70 IQ. The bell curve is through the fucking floor. Yeah, someone's chat said it. He really wants to say the hard R. Yeah. He is like... And he's just drunk out of his mind. He's just shivered. 
Says Richie Rich, yeah, I should have, yeah. It's an Elden Ring boss at this point, and you're level one, and you're not actually good at it. You're me. You have no chance. You're fucking Eric over right now by being so god. How? But he makes like five million a year now. I don't think now. it's possible like, to really fuck him over. At I'm this pretty point. sure he's a fucking like millionaire. A damn retarded, and you act. I'm sure one guy shitting on you is not going to ruin his. 10 million fucking dollar fucking um, a year business, Nick. Just like the Marvel fans and simps that you hate. Yobo Lover 1488 says, why is he so pissed anyway? Yeah, I know. It's you have just, become... It just doesn't really make any sense. It, it, like, what, because some guys made fun of you for a second on Twitter? And you hate. And everything you do is a purity test. Everything you do is... The rules of the purity streets. Test. Purity test. I'm sorry, gringo. You left the streets years ago. You're on the internet now. Autism is bigger than you. You're retarded, but people are stupid and oh autistic. And you think you're... Give me some oh. lecture about autism and stupidity and this and that. And next, like, I'm the Kiwi Farms godfather. Like, I run shit and I'm going to fucking... Like, it's just strange. It's brutal. Shoot them, motherfucker! You can't even spell trigger. What is what is going on? I have no idea. Can you keep playing it while I think of this? Is he just <laughs> implying that because he's yeah. black, he can't spell the word trigger? Because he said ventilator. If you want to hit that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a terrible. You spell it with an N. Good Christ! You the spell it people with an N. He goes, you can't spell trigger. You spell it with an S. Whoa! There he goes. He's dropping the hard R there in his own autistic way. Oh. I've ever seen on the fucking planet. That's crazy. And if you want to come at me, okay. What are you going to do? Threaten to ventilate me on the internet? This motherfucker. You're going to threaten more bar complaints against me? Oh, please don't. Please don't. Do I have to say racial slurs? Like, what do I have to do? You have I to dare you to fuck. Ricada. Why are you antagonizing these, like, black guys from Texas who are apparently all about street culture and putting people on a ventilator? And asking them if you need to drop racial slurs. Like, what if they actually pull up on his house and just shoot him? Like, what then? Is Ricada going to fucking fire back with his Baldo device? Or... What? What? Let him cook. It's kind of retarded what he's doing. I don't understand what the benefit of this is. Like, is this what Ricada fans want to see? They want to see him seething at these black people for making a comic book? I, I don't know. You can send bar complaints. Uncle Tom Honkies sitting on the plantation, hanging out with Isom Knox or whatever the fuck you're doing. Send the book. Like, is this wise? Is this wise to say shit like that? Is that, is that a good idea? What? What is what is going on? He's been doing this for 10 minutes straight now. Oh, he's he's lost his mind. Okay. Bar complaints, you dumb motherfuckers. Well, send well, them. It doesn't matter. Send None of this bar shit complaints. Like why are you it's just like Cog asking people to dox him. Why are you asking people to send complaints to the bar? Yeah, Brother Chim, that's not wise, Mr. White. That's certainly not wise. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's the internet. What are you? These people don't understand the streets. No, you don't understand the internet because you're literally fucking retarded. You're 76 IQ mongrels running around uh, drooling on your own penis and thinking you're losing. Oh, 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 all I can hear, yo, by the way, I was taking a piss, right? He's and all I hear is like, why? 
He's Why are you doing about, this? Like Uncle Tom, like he's basically no way. Yeah, I man, he's like basically dropping the other. Hey, you want to just like? I'm gonna go take a piss. Actually, may I rewind and rewatch? Yeah, chat? Go back, are you okay? Like a minute and a half. I, like, I, just, I didn't know I was gonna like, miss listen, the best part. Like, listen to what he's saying. <laughs> Wait, Rothbard says, "Let him cook." Let him cook. <laughs> Yo, hang on, chat. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, 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 I saw him not. I'm a piss. Like, what am I missing? So whatever the fuck you're hang doing, on. I dare you to fucking send bar complaints. Uncle Tom Honkies sitting on the plantation, hanging out with I saw him Knox or whatever the fuck you're doing. <sighs> Whoa, Nick. Holy shit. Send the bar complaints, you dumb motherfuckers. Send them. It doesn't matter. None of this. Send the bar complaints. You really want to lose your you lose your license? Shit matters. It's the internet. What are you? These people don't understand the streets. No, you don't understand the internet because you're literally fucking retarded. You're 76 IQ mongrels running around drooling onto your own penis and thinking you're lubricated. Oh my God, go find a glory hole full of men to suck you off. Jesus Christ. These people are an embarrassment to comics gate, to indie comics, everything anyone's ever stood for. You know why? You know why? Never understood independent creation. They just understood racial identity politics in the same way that Marvel did. Is it? But they didn't like He's the fact blasted. that Miss Marvel blasted. was Muslim. <coughs> like, my racial politics are better than theirs. Have fun, you dumb motherfuckers. Go get it. Damn. And the best part is. The best part is, this is my favorite thing, Eric probably hates all that shit because he's a level-headed guy who just wants to make a comic book. Wait, 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 wait. So, Ashton. Yeah. He, just go, he said, so he's like shitting on, on the black uh, supporters of Eric July. 76 IQ mongrels? No, no, no. But what he's doing, no, he, she just last... Tell me this is not a fucking... What's it called? Uh, a backpedal. Watch this. Look right, just wait. Hold on. Wait for Ashton, folks. Oh, he's got he's gotta hear. He's yelling it, right? And remember what he was saying about Eric July? Have fun in court. You're gonna lose in court. Yeah. Da -da -da -da, all that stuff. Now watch this. And you dumb motherfuckers. Watch. Go get it. And the best part is. The best part is, this is my favorite thing. Eric probably hates all that shit because he's a level-headed guy who okay. just wants to make a comic book. And so... Yeah, he starts realizing it's, like, unhinged, it's insane, and he's yeah. trying to backtrack it now. But yeah. it's too late, man. It's too late, buddy. He just spent ten minutes just losing his fucking mind. I love you, Eric. I love you, man. And sell it. But these retards are going to butt-fuck Eric's business into the goddamn ground. And he can't say no. You know why? Because ISOM number one made $3.7 million and ISOM number two made $2.3 million. That's 60%. I know it sounds like a lot of money. I know it sounds like a lot of money. It is $6 million is a lot. How much you got left, Eric? A lot? What are you? Wait, I love you, man. Da -da 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 -da. How much you got? How like, much you got left? Bipolar. How, like, Rikita, bipolar. how much do you have to yeah. battle with Montegraph without calling him a pedophile without any proof based on a Medicare video? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. So, okay. How much do you have? You have six million. So he has six million. Um, so what's Nick's implication? He's such a slimy motherfucker. But, but what's Nick's implication here, Ashton? That, uh, that, that he lost all his money already? Yeah, because he's black. Okay. He spent it all on Nikes is his implication, yeah? Oh my god. <laughs> he spent guys, it all on Jones and shit. Oh shit. Time number three is going to make 2.3 or more. Work on that story yet? Yeah, oh my god. I thought you liked him five seconds ago.
He's going to make 2.3 well, of what his. you got left, Eric. What? You think ISOM number three is going to make 2.3 or more? Yes! I think it will. By, like, what judging it, by the, it, the... But does it even have to make that much? What if it makes a million five? Ooh. He's going to the poorhouse? How much are you He's making, He's going to die? Like, the comic book made more than Nick's made his whole life, life. probably. And he has no kids or wife to fucking support. He probably lives in, like, a nice house, just whatever, just, like, a chill place. He doesn't, like, have to, like... His expenses are minimal. And he actually has, like, like a team. Theodore Fees of the Bald says, Nick made $70 last stream? That can't no be way. right. Can we get $70? What is that in subs? Can we get 15 subs? 15, yeah. Wait, Let's no. get... Yeah. 15 subs or $70? He made $70? 14, 14, 14. 14. We need 14 subs. Guys, don't make fun of our math here. We are... Work on that story yet? Or are you still selling the idea? What? Guys, here's the truth about what is creativity. Wrong with him? In markets, I'll tell you, every, every business... Professor on the planet will tell you the same thing. Quarter million dollar man is gifted 14 songs. Let's go! Good job on Nick Ricada's pathetic efforts We're there. We're at the Freebird goal. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Thank you! Massive support. Fuck yeah. Done. Wait, but quarter million dollar man, thank you so much. Everyone for supporting. Everyone, everyone. Holy fuck, you guys are... Hell and A, all you motherfuckers. Like, smash, like, all the goals, really. Everything, yeah. But I want to ask you, uh, it's not 70. It's got to be more. There's no way. Be. Theodore Fees in the bald. Are you serious? It's got to be more. Are you exaggerating, or are you? You can sell an idea and a movement one time. You can sell a good story every time. That's not even every true. Every time. You can sell oh, an number idea one and number two has been endless time. Okay, so Ashton, you're telling me he makes he makes one point five million on the first Isium, okay? Makes two point one million on the second one. Yeah. Wait, it's gonna be like a hundred k on the next one. And by the way, even if it was, his fans like like the book. And by the way, the book, like it's oh it's okay for what it is. Like honestly, it's not like horrible it's not the best comic book it's just like a comic right it's just whatever yeah and people like eric july and they're his fans and they'll fucking they'll buy whatever he makes they don't care uh, you got the scene over there is fucked by the way andy have you seen it what it's just croc like passed out on a pizza box there's like <laughs> half a pizza fucking left and there's like his weed vapes it's just like this greasy scene <laughs> I think his glasses off his head. Yeah, don't let him break his glasses there. I don't think the sumo wrestling's happening because Croc, once again, as always, passed out like a belted fucking bump. But if we get 25 more subs, <laughs> I'll do an elbow drop on Croc to wake him up. You will? Yeah. You're going to elbow drop him? Yeah. Am I going to film it? No. But I will drop the elbow yes. into cry. You'll hear him yell. Audio only. It's like a radio play. 60%. How much was number two supposed to do? Did anybody ask? Did anybody ask how much money that crowdfund for number two was supposed to do? Was it supposed to do 2.3? Great success. Great success. 20,000 less copies than number one. Fantastic success. And it really is. Wait. Well, wish coming Posted. true. You missed Nick Ricade is spiraling for like 15 oh my minutes God, here now. It's Just bad. Like, it's really bad. It's really bad. Do? Was it supposed to do 2.3? Great success. Great success. 20,000 less copies than number one. Fantastic success. And it really is. I think it's still outside of ISOM number one. I think ISOM number two is the biggest crowdfunding comic book in any comics. So... What's the problem? 
I mean, maybe a third, like, <sighs> like, what a, was it? Like, a, like, I understand it sold less than the first one, but I don't think it was ever going to sell as much that's as the, the thing, first That's one. the same thing for everything, though. Yeah. It's the same thing for everything. Target, what was needed? How much did you need to, how much did you need to earn? Was it, was it 2.3 million? What? Did any of your illiterate audience take economics? Do they know? This is fucked. How many no? millions does he need to make for you to personally be happy? Like, what do you think? The break even on the comic was a hundred million dollars. It's a comic like, book. Wouldn't like he already be pages. six feet under in like fucking mountains of debt? Look at his face here, yeah. <laughs> Holy, that was yeah, fucking yeah. grim. There. Look at that. That's an alcoholic. If you showed that to somebody on the street, they would go, that's an alcoholic down on his luck. I don't know what, like, what he's scared. Like, or well, Clay Pitching, right. it pisses me off too, his fucking shitty ring. And it does. It catches your eye every, every time. time. Your eye goes over to that fucking ring. It's so stupid. It's like a real, a, a Ralph spiral. Just like a mean-spirited rant. It really is, uh, Patrick. Do you have any idea how much uh, it costs to pay for your somewhere between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollar a month warehouse? How many staff do you have? What ten? Ten, right? Like something like ten? Ten staff? Maybe more. Hope Alpha Core does well. You brought on Chuck Dixon. I love Chuck Dixon, by the way. Do it wait, oh everyone, everyone, listen. Listen to the great sound effect we're about to hear. Chuck. <laughs> Drink it up. Drink it up. Is he going to lick the bottle again? By the way, it was. Yes, of course. By the way, it wasn't even like a proper look. It was like. Like he's like struggling to open it. Dick's a great go. legendary comic book author. And this is not a slight, but um, guys, go look up the. Uh, Oh, oh God. God. It's so disgusting. Like, I don't know if anybody, Never. no alcoholic licks the fucking bottle to get, like, the little drop. Oh. The projects Chuck Dixon's been on. Not a slight, but what has he been on? One of the greatest comic book writers uh, that's still alive. Go look up the recent projects. Uh, they hit million dollars? Did you sell a story or did you sell a movement? And an idea, because I'm pretty sure you sold the second one. Who gives a fuck, Nick? Yeah. And Alpha Core doesn't have the name Isom. It's not the main character. It's a spinoff. I love. I love you. I love this Chuck whole, Dixon. I love this I love guy, Chuck Dixon. I love but Chuck. I hate him, and I want to see him fail. Like, <laughs> you know, great writer. So Would love to talk to him about. I I did. I interviewed him. He's fantastic. Full of wisdom. Is he going to sell a million dollar book? What about Yaira? Who's working on that one? Probably. I would say probably. One. His Brazilian sister's going to draw a million dollar book? I hope so. Probably. Hope it's two million, three million. But if it's less than one, what are you going to do? He's going to be fine. He's going to be rich still. What are you going to do? He's going to be rich. I'm, too. I'm praying on your downfall. <sighs> This is like the worst. This is like ankle biting fag. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is this? He's this like, he's crazy. like a bond. What are you gonna do, Mister July? Like, it's just like. You only made two point four million. You only made millions of dollars this year, faggot. <laughs> what do you mean you only made six million, pussy? <laughs> Make that motherfucker say pop off ring with that. <laughs> you have 50,000 copies sitting in your warehouse. How'd that pull up campaign do where you devalued a $35 book to five bucks? Why would Did he say he loves Eric? You're probably going like to lose times? those millions you made. You devalued your comic book. You spent worth 35. Now you're going to get 10. Sorry, suffer, Black. <laughs> this is wild. It's wild. You do that. 
How many copies were you sitting on? How many did you sell? How many are you sitting on still? Everybody downplays the fact that inventory is one of the most expensive fucking things in physical product business. And I know all physical products got to be collectible. Don't do digital. Well, the whole point of crowdfunding and pre-orders is to know how many comics you need. You putting them in stores? Or are you putting them on a shelf? Which would be the same thing. I Jackie's don't know. Like, I don't know. He'll figure it out, I guess. His business model. It's like, okay, you're A-logging his business model. I mean, for all you know, he has a bunch of guys. Like, he has a team. It's not like Eric July is figuring this out on his own. Yeah. It's not like, like, if it was Eric July or if it was me or if it was Andy on our own, you'd be like, yeah, they probably don't know how to scale this business or yeah. distribute shit or do inventory because we don't really. But he has a team of guys to yeah. do it. By the way, 15,000 books of 20 pages each. Is that even a lot of money to print? I, I don't think It's so. not like it's hardcover. It's fucking paperback. It's fucking worth pennies each one. You go print. It's a lot of copies. I could guess extra, but it can't be millions of dollars. Yeah, so I don't know. It's the ink. I don't know. I don't know. The ink is the cost, I guess. It's very weird. Is it? They still it's sell comic books, though, for pretty fucking dirt cheap. Well, he's selling them at a huge markup, too. Yeah. Beyond what a normal comic book would cost. Yeah. Is it weird, well, I'm not white knighting No one's white knighting for Eric July. July. I, I don't know. I, I just think that Ricada is fucking on the hinge. I just don't understand why anybody gives a fuck. That's what I'm still struggling to, like why it's so important to nail this black guy to the cross and also it's it's him going i love you eric i love you i'm not mad da, da, da. eric didn't even start this shit <sighs> fuck off is it weird or is it business everybody is pussyfooting around the reality is of the isom business model everybody is fucking scared to talk about the numbers you guys have $20,000 a month, a month, every month, to pay for a warehouse. What about 10 staff? Remember Eric? Remember Eric? He's like, whole thing about comics is they don't pay their people enough. What are you paying your staff? 10 staff? What do they make a year? It's really make none a year. of your business. Let's say 10 staff make... What, 70K a year? How is your book doing, Nick? <laughs> $700,000 a year? What's that per month? 50K a month? Now you're at 70K a month? Six mil's gonna go real fucking fast. Uh, let's be real. He's not paying those 10 guys $70,000. They're like 25, 30K. Yeah. It's a part time job. They're not getting paid. It's a part time job. Fuck all. Yeah, it's part time job. Uh, that warehouse lease is five years, almost guaranteed. Maybe longer, maybe shorter. Depends how much they want what? to pay. He Wait, goes, it's five. Mean? He goes, it's five years guaranteed. Maybe longer. Might maybe be shorter. shorter. Maybe, Buddy, maybe it's a year. How many people fucking lease something, a warehouse or a property for, for five, five years? years or no ten one. Years? Rick is trying to say this guy's locked into a lifetime of servitude <laughs> on this warehouse. Like, <laughs> five years is going rate right on a commercial lease in Plano. Two bucks a square foot. Thanks, Liana. Probably negotiate down. A buck seventy-five square foot at five years. If you want to go to a year, it's going to be two bucks a square foot. Bet it's longer than a year. Bet it's five bucks. Guess they're not full-time employees. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you sure? Well, I'm guessing Eric's whole thing. Marvel and DC don't pay their people enough. But if they're part-time, it doesn't matter. Should he pay them full-time wages for working part-time? Two comic books were released only. It's not like a fucking, like, every fucking Marvel There's also a big difference between Marvel and DC and some black guy. In a like, fucking warehouse. If he had the resources that Marvel and DC had, yeah, maybe he would pay his fucking staff more than they would. Like... <laughs> Are you fucking this retarded? How to make money in comics. Change lives for the distribution staff. Why is it 35 bucks a book? Let's not even get into that whole charity thing. 
subs! 812 subscribe, let's go. Yeah, man, thank you. Fuck yeah. I got a question. I got a question. You won't be missed, Ollie. Ollie, I don't even know who the fuck you are, you fucking retard. <laughs> Does anybody the out, out there here, do the charity? Did anybody out there do the chararity submission for ISOM? Anybody way, buy a charity book? Have we not said that ISOM was like mid, it sucks, who cares, da, 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 all this shit? We're making fun of Rakeda's fucking spiral. Well, you're simping. Go suck Rakeda's fucking dick then. Yeah. It's a Rakeda fan. It's obviously a Rakeda fan. And request a receipt for the IRS. Did a single person... Buy a charity book and request that charitable deduction receipt. What's it say? How much money went to the charity? How much do you get to deduct? Does anybody have that? Anybody? Whoa, charity is a scam. Yeah, but was it a scam? I I, I don't I, even know. I, I have no idea. I honestly it might don't be. fucking I don't know. know. I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm just I'm just asking a question. Anybody buy a charity ISOM book and get one of those receipts for their IRS tax return? I, just send it to me. I'm just curious. Just curious. I have no idea. I don't know the answer. Yeah, McSlammer is like, what is the point of speculating on all this if he has no documents, no facts, nothing? Nothing. It's just no to leaves. seethe and just, it's, though I'll tell you why. It's just to suck Dick Masterson's penis. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's so strange. Like, why? Fuck kids. Stupid. Why would you give kids a comic book? Oh my God, try giving them cancer cures. That's better. Right. How about this? He could do whatever the fuck he wants with his charity. Yeah, if people want to support it, that's fine. Yeah, like, okay. Is it oh, no, my cause is better. I mean, personally, I think a lot of the fucking charities that are out there are fucking retarded. Yeah, they are, are retarded. Yeah, causes, it's retarded. Like, yeah. Holy shit. But, you know, I'm not going around, like, making it my life mission to fucking battle them. Yeah. Okay, where, Nick, where's your cancer charity? Eh? I know. Where's his cancer charity? Do it yourself. Don't ask me to comment on your fucking garbage. Don't ever ask me how Unless to you want me to actually comment. That was Spoonie. He channeled it fully because Don't all I wanted to do fucking comment. Say, I'm like, I'm not going to throw my friend off the bus or under the bus. I want you to make a million dollars. That's it. That's all I was going to do. So I want to say my entire life. That's it. I just want to say, I don't, I won't throw my friend uh, under the bus without evidence. Do you guys remember? Do you remember the moment? Do you have, wait. Uh, so, so Dick and Vito, I don't have him. Uh, 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 I can't say. Explicitly that they did this. Wait, 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 what? You don't you don't have no, I don't have that. Do you guys <laughs> someone in the chat just went? I don't uh, Octopus Prime in chat goes, I don't even think Eric asked him to comment. No, I doubt it. No, Eric didn't. <sighs> remember? I'll try to find uh... Do you guys remember what I asked for? The one thing, because I got shit on all over for this. This was why I was disloyal, Shasta, right? This was it. All I said was, I'm not going to throw Dick and Vito under the bus without evidence that they did this. Now, there was a video. I don't know. Everybody seems to have collective memories of a fucking goldfish that's all so <sighs> stupid. No one remembers this. There was a video saying, we you, have you don't receipts. Gonna come up. Wait, I have a video. Eric July verse for Kata? Yeah, he did go on. on we, co we covered that a while ago, but but we didn't even know what the we, fuck was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right now. We have the receipts. Some people's gonna go. On. We got them. Remember the receipts? Promise the receipts. Where are the fucking receipts? Where were they? Where were the fucking receipts? 
People going to get sued. They're going to learn. They're going to learn. They're going to learn today about lawsuits, about torches, tor tortoise interference or whatever. You're going to learn today, right? You're going to, everybody's going to learn. Everybody's going to learn lawsuits everywhere. Ignoring the fact that you can definitely tell a company that someone is stealing your trademark, but ignore that lawsuits are coming. Cause they know, they know they got the receipts on my show. Uh, to Dick and Vito, did, I never said Dick and Vito. Did, yeah, he never needs said one of those blood alcohol. He no. needs like the breathalyzer before he starts to think. Yeah, the, the OBS. Like uh, every only... twenty minutes, it, OBS will <sighs> shut down unless he blows under. Because right now he's just a drunken fucking idiot blowhard, Andy. Like, that's, that's what it is. He's just blackout drunk, right? It's yeah, just, it's like literally like you should not be streaming in the, these thoughts. It's like you phoning your ex and going, Oh, yeah, I still love you. I swear. You're a whore. Look, look <laughs> I know strategy. I'm not going to say they did this. Wait, do you not have the evidence that they did this? Nah. Nah. OBS I don't know if they did this. You don't know if they did this. That's right, Brad. Every hour. Literally. Mm -hmm. I, I should have sat there. I should have done this rant then. I should have spent 30 fucking minutes excoriating this motherfucker because the entire drama for me was how your partner gonna do this and you're not gonna call him out. And I'm like, I didn't see the evidence. He's like, I got the evidence. But then when it came down to the fucking question, who had the evidence? Jack fucking shit. Nobody has the goddamn evidence. You know why? why is he so Do you bad? know why? Do you know why Eric doesn't have the fucking evidence? Do you know why? Like there's because Dick and Vito like didn't do foam, it. They just like lacking out of his mouth. Dick like, and Vito didn't. Do they did. He's foaming at the mouth. They admitted it in a rage. Laughed. They just mocked him and his ego took a dick in the ass and he had to sit there and take it because they yeah, just dick literally admitted it yeah dick admitted it just fucking laughed and it hurt his pride and so he said he was going to do something he said he had it when he had the no, opportunity no, no, to yeah, yeah they, 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 they admitted to the email they admitted to the email yeah and it he couldn't Everybody mad at me. Every motherfucking faggot out there demanding me to comment, <laughs> demanding me to denounce He's my friends. He's pretty liberal with the use of faggot. Yeah, that YouTube. was a big contention with me and him is he wouldn't yeah. say faggot. It had to yeah. be F slur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demanding, demand. Oh, sorry, Rich. Eh? Demand, demand, demand. How dare you? How dare you? There's everything you hate in the world. Show me that they did it. Oh, oh, oh. How do you not know they did it? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, come Look, fluent. I this asked is him. I said, did you tear? He's like, he just went like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Like, he's like, okay. Like an ape. Guys, do this? Like, look, if you did this, it'd be faggot. Like, I don't care if you did this, it's not illegal, but did you do this? No, we didn't do it. It's funny. We would have done it, but we didn't do it. You didn't do this? You really didn't do this, you motherfuckers? I texted Dick, did you do this? Tell me, motherfucker, did you do this? No, it's hilarious. I wish I would have done it. It's so goddamn funny. You didn't do this? No, I didn't do it. So I said, show me the evidence. As far as I can tell, nobody fucking did it. Nobody, they did. What evidence did you see? Didn't do this it. Some crazy. other guy did it. No, how could you say some other? They're definitely obtuse gnome. They did it. They obviously did it. Obtuse gnome did it. And, and obtuse gnome is Vito or Dick or one of the kids Vito's raping every day. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Show me the goddamn. All, right. All I said, show me the evidence. Show me the evidence. I'm not going to throw my friend under the bus without evidence. I've known this man for a long fucking time. He'd just say he did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He'd lie to you. Why? Because he wouldn't lie. Like, he'd just tell me. Because never lie. You know how we make fun of the sector? We're like, oh, we're in this sector. Da, da. Honestly, this is moments like these. I'm happy we're in this sector. This is gayer than <laughs> fucking gayer sector. Beyond. I can't even fucking believe it. <laughs> this is like. He's like he defending Vito the pedophile. Yeah. yeah. And like, look at him here. Yeah. Look at his Hold face. me to disavow. Fuck. All right, some people in chat are, are, are bored. Do we move on from this? Well, I guess we can. I mean, I'm kind on. of enjoying I, I mean, it. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying to it. Spurg out. Like, give us five more minutes, guys. Quaffin throws ten subs. I'll move on yeah. from the second. <laughs> I want to do King I, Dave. I, I'm curious. Oh, I want to see where like, what happens. Him, he said. Look, I'm sorry. 
disavow me, take the other side. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Won't matter at all. Just disavow me. Just say it. Just say you did it. Well, but I won't do that unless you did it, but I didn't do it. But just say you did. Cause it's easier for you. It's better for business. Like, I don't care if it's better for business. Did you do it? No, I didn't do it. Okay. Show me the evidence. They did it. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is I never said it. You never said it. You never implied it. You didn't do a whole fucking stream about suing these guys. Which, by the way, that would have been the greatest lawsuit on the planet. You would have gotten fucking destroyed. But you didn't do a whole stream about suing them because you had the receipts? You don't have the receipts? I have the receipts. Oh, okay. For everybody wondering why I'm talking about this, please remember, that was the core fucking issue. All that right, was we'll do, we'll every, give this it till still the, We'll is. give this to the top of the hour. We'll give it till like 1 a.m. And then we'll call it. Yeah. It is because here's kind of how YouTube works. Let's just talk about social media realities for a minute. Let me just, let me just do a little sift. Let's go two minutes, okay? We'll just Fuck off. Some... That's <laughs> not DMCA, and you know it. You know it. But he did it. Everybody ignored it. Why did they ignore it? Because they like him. They want him to succeed. And these guys are just haters. All I said, show me the evidence. You don't have it. I know he didn't have it because they didn't do it. Obtuse Nome did it. Obtuse Nome was probably pissed that you fucking banned him from Twitter. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you fucking picked on the wrong person because you're so fucking used to picking on people who roll over, spread their butthole, shove lube in it, and then say, give it to me, Daddy Eric. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Obtuse Gnome clearly doesn't feel that way. Neither does Isom. Neither does Dick. Neither does Vito. Although I think Vito might like it. And neither does me. Vito. All right. Let's just do this stuff there. I knew two months ago about the text to EVS. I knew two months. Okay. Exactly. This guy fucking sucks. He's just repeating so it over So many and over. people associated with Eric. I think they're great. Great people. Fantastic. I have so much fun talking to them. If I never get to talk to a single one of them again after this whole Isom faggotry, so be it. I started my show talking alone. I'll probably end my show talking alone. You probably will. All right. What does he mean by that? I, I, like He started alone, and then he's going to lose everyone in his life because of his spurg. So he's just doing the Ralph run? That's wild. All right, let's go to King Dave. I can't fucking take it, actually. Yeah, me too. It started right. to give me a serious Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I started to get like, okay, we got it. 